Elizabeth Smart's father says there is something he has to talk about 17 years after his daughter's kidnapping and miraculous rescue. Ed Smart is revealing how he struggled to come out as gay in his first network TV interview about his sexuality. His story was first reported back in August, but this is the first time that he's talking about it publicly. The 64-year-old man who was married to his former wife Lois for 34 years and the father of six children told us how difficult it was to reconcile his faith with his feelings. During the course of my life, you know, I've certainly found, um, you know, men to be attractive. I was taught that that was not acceptable, that that was something that you were a deviant, you were a bad person if you thought those things. But you know you're not a deviant, Ed. No, no. But that was what I was brought up to believe. I never wanted to identify as being gay. Mm -hmm. I never wanted that to be part of me. Mm -hmm. Why would God give this to me? Why would I have to endure this in life? How did you try to fix it? I went to therapists. I went to my church leaders. I mean, I literally called my bishop up one morning. And I said, you know, I feel like I've stabbed Lois in the heart. And I went to my other church leader and I said to him, so am I gay? Am I gay? And he said to me, I don't think so. He said, you know, there's this spectrum and it's fluid within this spectrum. When he said, I don't think you're gay, did you feel relieved at hearing that? You're thinking, okay, maybe I'm not. Um, yes, I was praying that I was not. I didn't want to believe that I was. How do you get, how do you cure being gay? There is no cure. And for all of those out there that are struggling in this same spot, there is no cure. But th that's part of why you're speaking. Yes, it is. It is the reason why I'm speaking. This is absolutely not a choice. And I wish my wife knew that. I wish that more than anything. He is so concerned. It, it, it is, I have to say, very powerful. Even we all walked out of there. Your heart just opens up to him. Because can you imagine living your whole life not being able to be who you are? He's very, very concerned about his ex-wife, Lois, because the last thing he of wanted course. to do was hurt her yeah. and certainly not hurt his family. But he said he could just no longer live this way. You know, people would say he had a, you know, have a problem. He goes, you know what my problem was? I was a gay man trying to be straight. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was my problem. Yeah. And now, you know, he wants to speak out to help others because he said it really was torturous for him. And imagine what it was like when Elizabeth Smart disappeared. Oh, he was front and center, the, the public face. He was worried about that then. There was a lot going on, so we will continue our conversation yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, it's, painful, it's painful that he thinks he needs a cure, even. Yes. You know, I mean, yeah. being gay he, doesn't need he a no cure. He no longer thinks that, but You can that, see him cycling that. through the yeah. kind of the guilt, the, the yes. grief, and then relief, ultimately. Yes. But he's not the only one from that generation. Oh, no, I know, I know. I, I believe that, too, Tony. You'll see more of our conversation with Ed Smart tomorrow. He'll talk about the difficult process of coming out to his family.